Hello everyone. Uh, so continuing with the renal pathology, I am taking uh, the important topic of Alport syndrome. Uh, so questions uh, come, MCQs, problem based questions and uh, theory question can also come from this topic. Alport syndrome, it is a part of hereditary nephritis. Hereditary nephritis, uh, these are a group of kidney diseases in which there is uh, mutations in the genes which are encoding for the collagen and you know that collagen uh, forms an important part of the glomerular basement membrane. So there are two diseases that come in hereditary nephritis, one is Alport syndrome, other is the most common uh, cause of benign familial hematuria which is thin basement membrane nephropathy. So before uh, proceeding to Alport syndrome, we should know and which we can recall what I have already told in the previous lectures that the glomerular filtration barrier it has got the different parts the fenestrated endothelial cell layer then the visceral epithelial layer along with that the glomerular basement membrane which is a, a very important part of the glomerular filtration barrier. So glomerular bas uh, basement membrane it is made up of type 4 collagen and there are a set of genes like col 4 a1 to col 4 a6 which are uh, encoding for the uh, alpha chains. So alpha 1 to alpha 6 chains they are coded by these genes and uh, they form important part of the glomerular basement membrane along with these collagen chains and the proteoglycans they are also uh, seen in the glomerular basement membrane. So we are concerned with the collagen. The You should remember that the collagen which is present in glomerular basement membrane it is type 4 collagen. So type 4 collagen uh, it forms the uh, suprastructure of the glomerular basement membrane and when there are mutations in these alpha genes uh, of the collagen then it results in Alport syndrome. Now in Alport syndrome the type of transmission which can be seen are uh, X-linked transmission then X, uh, then autosomal recessive as well as autosomal dominant and why so many different types of uh, transmission can be seen because these uh, the alpha genes which are coded they are present on both the X chromosome as well as the autosomes 2 and 13. So the different uh, genes they are present in the X chromosome as well as the autosomal chromosome so the inheritance is both X linked as well as autosomal. And uh, you should remember that in the X chromosome there is the gene called for A5 which is encoding the alpha 5 chain present in the glomerular basement membrane. And if the X-linked transmission is there then in that case the males are more severely affected as compared to the females because they have only one X chromosome with, which has the defective gene while in females if uh, the one uh, gene is defective then in the <coughs> corresponding X chromosome the other gene normal gene will also be there. So the males they, are, they suffer more if, the X, if uh, there is X-linked transmission of Alport syndrome. Now uh, next the clinical presentation and this uh, can come in uh, any PBQ. So there will be renal manifestation in the form of hematuria because there are defects in the glomerular filtration barrier and the glomerular basement membrane. So the RBCs they will be filtered and progressively there is a sclerosis and that lead, can lead to the uh, chronic renal failure and end stage renal disease. Now another important thing is that in Alport syndrome not only the kidney is affected but the ear and the eye that is also affected. The These two sites are also affected because this type 4 collagen is seen in all these three sites. So in the ear, in the inner ear, in the cochlea type 4 collagen is present when it is defective it causes the sensory neural hearing loss because you know that there is the organ of corti in the inner ear and it sits on the basement membrane and it is said that in that basement membrane it is made up of type 4 collagen. Then again in the eye so type 4 collagen is present and the different manifestation can be the and, uh, lens dislocation then anterior lenticonus also can be there and posterior cataracts and corneal dystrophy all these can be seen. So you should uh, remember that the three systems they are affected in Alport syndrome 
one is the kidney then eye and the ear so this triad you should remember in pathogenesis there are uh, many mutations which will be seen uh, and uh, they will be seen in the genes encoding for the type 4 collagen and the site i already told you glomerular basement membrane cochlea and eye lens all these they have the type 4 collagen and uh, in the electron microscopy <coughs> in the light microscopy much changes are not seen especially in the early stages the changes will not be seen in the light microscopy but in electron microscopy we can see that the globular basement membrane which is uh, now uh, having the deficient collagen synthesis it will have thin, thinned out and thickened appearance and similar appearance will be seen also in the tubular basement membrane so uh, the this appearance <coughs> where there is thickened thinned uh, glomerular basement membrane and also there is splitting of the basement membrane this is known as basket weave appearance so you should remember this can come in mcq then basket weave appearance of globular basement membrane it is seen in the alport syndrome and there in the basement membrane there is irregularly thickened areas thinned out areas then there is splitting of the basement membrane these are the defects that will be seen now uh, for diagnosis uh, we can use immunohistochemistry because uh, the commercially available antibodies to the alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 collagen they will not stain the glomerular basement membranes and the tubular basement membranes because they are deficient in that and uh, also similar negative staining will be seen uh, in the skin biopsy of those patients because in the skin also they, in the basement membrane there is alpha 5 collagen chain so L, uh, absent alpha 5 antibody staining will be seen in the skin biopsies as well now the renal lesions uh, in the kidney uh, they can be they will be patient will present with hematuria then progressively they can be focal segmental and later on global glomerulosclerosis and uh, later on they can also be vascular sclerosis so sclerosis around the blood vessels then will that will lead to the renal vascular hypertension then tubular atrophy uh, will be seen and later on interstitial fibrosis and because of this vascular sclerosis the ac inhibitors they are also used in the treatment of uh, alport syndrome now clinically they will be gross or microscopic hematuria then nephritis uh, which will pro which can progress to end stage renal disease then sensory neural hearing loss which is known as nerve deafness then in the eye the manifestations are anti ear lens dislocation posterior cataract corneal dystrophy and cat uh, all these manifestation they are important for you to remember then uh, lastly diagnosis so urine examination can be done which will uh, show the blood protein urea then uh, in the renal biopsy electron microscopy can be done which will show the typical basket weave pattern and immunohistochemistry will show the negative staining for the alpha 3 alpha 4 and alpha 5 collagen antibodies then eye examination ear examination can be seen to uh, see those abnormalities which are seen and then genetic studies can be done and uh, apart from alport syndrome hereditary nephritis has this uh, second disease which is thin basement membrane nephropathy and it's the most common benign familial hematuria and uh, it has caused in this disease there is very thin basement membrane so thin basement membrane as the name suggests so normal thickness of the basement membrane is about 300 to 400 nanometers but in thin basement membrane disease it is 150 to 225 nanometer again this is a mcq question so it, this disease has got a benign clinical course it can manifest as hematuria and uh, uh, again there is defect in the synthesis of collagen and the type 4 collagen and there is defect in alpha 3 and alpha 4 chain synthesis so uh, you should recall that in the alport in the alport syndrome there is defective uh, alpha 3 4 and 5 chain uh, while in 
thin basement membrane alpha 3 and alpha 4 chain synthesis is defective and uh, the renal function test they however they are normal and and it has got a excellent prognosis and there are no ear defects no eye defects as compared to the alport syndrome so these are the important points for thin basement membrane disease so i hope the lecture is useful and these are my references and any question any query you have you can ask in the comment section thank you very much